Welcome to Tech Stack, the show that stacks the odds for the average tech enthusiast. And I'll just tell you right now, I was not here last week, so uh, here's what happened. The HTC U11 is shiny, AMD Threadripper CPUs with up to 16 cores are coming this summer. Uh, people are still apparently using Windows XP and getting hacked. And Google I.O. was kind of meh. So, yeah. News! Yesterday, Verizon had confirmed that they will be coming out with some sort of TV streaming service, as confirmed by the CEO, Lowell McAdam. Verizon plans to use their post-merger AOL Yahoo subsidiaries as a platform to test out some sort of service, as according to Variety. This will most likely compete with DirecTV Now, as owned by AT&T, and Sling TV, which is under Dish Network. However, something to note here, it is still going to be separate from Go90, Verizon's existing mobile video service. Other than that, there still aren't too many details with this quite yet. Yet another competitor comes to the streaming scene, and of course, though, Verizon does have enough assets to try their own hand. Let's just see what they do. We don't even have a name yet. If you're a gamer and you're more aggregated towards Microsoft's offerings, then you might want to check out their newly announced Game Pass. Coming out June 1st, Game Pass is offering access to more than 100 Xbox One and Xbox 360 games for just $9.99 per month. However, this is very much unlike PlayStation Now, which streams games. Game Pass, you can just download the games right on your consoles. Some of the games that will be available on the subscription service include Halo 5 and Gears of War 3, but the library will continue to grow over time. If you happen to have an Xbox Live Gold subscription already, you can try it out today instead of having to wait until June 1st. So here's my take. If you're a gamer and you already have an Xbox Live Gold subscription, well, you more than likely already have the games you already want to play already. So this might not be for you. I, I couldn't imagine too many people, unless they just have the money to spend, getting both subscription services, both Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. But I mean, if you really want all the games you can get your hands on, you can do that. I would just say you would rather just have either one or the other. It has long been rumored at the end of this month of May that we were supposed to be getting some sort of Surface Pro 5. Well, we did just without the five. Meet the new Surface Pro, and apparently it's just dropping the numbering scheme. However, not much else has changed. The form factor is pretty much still the tablet laptop hybrid. It has upgraded to the seventh gen Cabby Lake Intel processors, including the M3, the i5, and the i7 models. And Microsoft says that it's fairly confident the new Surface Pro is going to deliver much more battery life, up to 13 and a half hours. And there are LTE options available as well. They have also altered the level of pressure sensitivity to 4096 different steps, along with some reduction in the activation force. Inherently, using a Surface Pen now feels a lot less laggy and a lot more responsive on the new Surface Pro. However, there are still no USB-C ports on here, just the Surface Connector, USB, and Mini Display port. You can pre-order Microsoft's new Surface Pro starting at $7.99 and it'll start shipping on June 15th in 26 countries. So if you were looking for that hardware upgrade for a new Surface, well now's your chance. The new Surface Pro, and honestly, the upgrades are well welcomed here. And that's all for today's short show on Tech Stack. Of course, if you liked it, make sure to share with a friend and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Lucas Cyprian, and I will see you in the next one.